People ask me, what do I want to be when I grow up? Well... Rawr! Anything Halloween, I'm your host, Mr. Halloween Hunter, and today we are looking at another Spirit Halloween 2019 sneak peek. Yes, everyone, this is going to be one of the final few sneak peeks of the year. I know, I know, it's pretty sad. Um, we've been on a long journey, starting from, uh, actually, June 7th, I believe it was, now to, well, today is the 29th of July, and sneak peeks basically end the 31st, because then the following day, the whole entire lineup released. So... Today we're going to be looking at quite the classic. Yes, and I'm really, really happy this is coming. We're looking at the 5, 2.5 foot, not 5 foot, man, that would be huge. The 2.5 foot Graveyard Ghoul. And yes, the reason why I say it's classic because we're getting a lot of nostalgic props this year. And what do you mean, nostal nostalgic props? Well... Demonic Dahlia reminds me of a 2012 prop for some reason. Her face just resembles 2012 for me. And yes, that is my favorite year. 2012 is my favorite year. So, I've experienced 2019 yet, so my opinions could change. But 2012 has a special place in my heart, and it's going to stay there for quite some time. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Sorry. <laughs> So the Graveyard Ghoul is listed for $130 or $129.99, which honestly isn't a bad price for this character. Uh, I kind of want to say it is a bad price, but they could have made it a little bit more cheaper. Possibly $100, just $100 even. Um, but it $130 isn't honestly a bad price for this guy. I actually have no complaints. Honestly, I don't. Uh, the really only complaint I guess I could say I have is I wish the mouth didn't move. Um, and the lights on the tombstone are a little bit visible and uh, that's kind of annoying because you can just see these little black squares at the bottom of the tombstone which isn't something I like. Also I do love the tombstone itself because it kind of gives me that... Uh, 80s feel um i've seen a lot of like older tombstones and this kind of resembles the 80s a little bit i know i saw i don't know <laughs> i know i sound like a lunatic right now which i probably do but this, if you look if you've seen the 80s halloween tombstones not like real tombstones you know the tombstone decorations and you might say it does resemble a little bit um, I do love the yellow light up eyes. It's honestly a really cool few. A really cool few. A really cool feature. Um, so, I love how this guy actually doesn't rise up, similar to the um, Pumpkin Guardian of the Grave and Guardian of the Grave. Um, he, instead of him going all the way up, you know, like rising up, he actually goes from side to side from the tombstone, as you can tell. So that's one of the features I really love about this guy. So I don't know if I'm going to be picking him up this year. I'm still debating. I'm still wanting to see, of course, other Halloween stuff in stores. I do have my eyes set on a few props, including Demonic Dahlia. That's probably going to be one of the first things I get this year, or one of the last few. I'm not 100% positive, but at least I'm going to try to get her this year. So, what are you guys' thoughts, of course, on the Graveyard Ghoul? And, well, everyone, anything Halloween, I'm your host, Mr. Armin Hunter. Thank you all for tuning in to this brand new Spirit Halloween sneak peek as we're slowly ending the season. So, what's next? Well, let me tell you what's next in the next episode.